Hey all here, OS Reviews. One of the more useful accessories that we have checked out in the past was the Moft foldable laptop stands. So you can attach this using a 3M sticky onto the back of your computer, and then within just one step, you're able to elevate it at a slightly more ergonomic angle. We can even recline it slightly further backwards, depending on your preferences when you are getting work done. This design also supposedly improves airflow and prevents overheating when you are working on a flat surface or a desk. So today we're taking a look at an alternative that's within the same category. It's called the Pun Cube. This time around though, it's a portable laptop desk. So it doesn't necessarily attach onto the back of your laptop, but it also is really small. You can take it with you when on the road, but now it has more of a firm surface to position your laptop so you can type more comfortably again on your lap. In addition, there is an extendable mini spot for you to pop in your mouse and there's also ergonomic angles that you can position it into just like on the moft the concept seems pretty clever especially for constant road warriors that are sometimes limited by desk space and oftentimes if you are just putting your laptop on your lap it can be a little bit of a wobbly not super comfy experience if your laptop gets hot not to mention if you're working with a surface like device the kickstand often requires more space so it just tends to wobble or fall down so this should hopefully mitigate some of those issues. It is A4 size, like a piece of paper, quite small, compatible with laptops from 12 to 16 inches. And what's clever is you can also use the side there as a mini desk if you're writing things down on memo and you aren't using a mouse. Plus you can also use the back here as a clipboard, which is super clever. It's a two-in-one design there. That being said, perhaps the only con would be pricing is a little steep in my opinion. They're selling this right now at around $60 a pop. Granted, yes, you can get a lot of utility out of this if you are constantly traveling and want to be more productive, but I still think that if they're able to shave off maybe another 10 or 20 bucks, that could make it even more compelling as a gift idea in the holiday season. By the way, the back of the packaging also reiterates some of the different modes that we saw there from before. And we have actually a very almost like synthetic leather color and texture to this one here in a brown finish. It looks quite good. And there are some metal accents here and there. So there is a little latch on the front here. So it catches your computer when you're using it in the elevated stand modes, preventing it from sliding down. Otherwise, this is all magnetic and it will then just kind of pop backwards when you're ready to use it. But of course, you can also use it completely flat like a normal desk as well. Here's a quick peek at the thickness. So really not too bad. It does feel like the aforementioned clipboard, especially when you turn it all the way around and you can slide in a piece of paper there. Now, this part is also where you can pull out the aforementioned mini desk to extend, use it as a mouse pad or again for writing things down. And it's relatively sturdy, has kind of a sliding mechanism there going on. And when not in use, it then locks itself back into place extra module that is a pen holder so you can attach this onto the side if you do have a stylus enabled laptop or again you're using a surface so as a quick demo here i'm going to first just position a 12 inch macbook here onto the surface alternatively here's what it looks like with a 14 inch ultra portable here's a lenovo kind of x1 carbon but i would argue that if you are getting into 16 inch territory unless you have something like an lg gram which is already quite light plus has very small bezels uh, anything that has larger frame might be a bit of a stretch so to be safe i would say it's maybe a little bit more comfortable for 15 inch laptops and below and now as another demo let's try out a surface pro this one here having roughly a 12.5 inch display but again a kickstand like design Okay, so what I can say is it does lie relatively comfortably onto this desk, for sure, much more stable as compared to directly on your lap since there is a hard surface underneath it, improving the quote-unquote lapability by quite a lot. Though do keep in mind that it's still not the biggest desk in the world. So for example, here's another view from the side. It's still hanging onto the desk all right, but maybe the trackpad region of your cover will start to taper off the desk area. But for things like typing, it still is sturdy enough and definitely feels a little bit more firm as compared to directly on your lap. And now here's a demo of what it looks like using the most shallow incline, which is not bad, I would say. It certainly holds a position here, including the keyboard as I'm pressing down on it without too many issues, providing a little bit better airflow here on the bottom. You can even extend the length, make it a little bit smaller based on your preferences. And here's the second more dramatic incline, which they claim is up to 30 degrees. If you do want to elevate the height of the screen even more on a certain posture, you can do this with the second stand mode. Also works quite well. The weight doesn't seem to be too big of an issue as I'm flexing and pressing down on the computer. It still stays relatively firm 
firm and stable, which is pretty good for such a compact design. Now, on the other hand, using this tiny little extension part as a desk can still feel a little bit more on the flexible side of things because the overall support system is just on the left hand area and there's nothing on the right. So you have to be a little bit more careful not to exert too much pressure or force. But for general writing purposes, although it may slightly wobble, it doesn't seem to be too problematic, I would say. You can even place something like maybe a phone uh, along here on this region next to it just to check if there's any notifications and it still works out to be decent. That being said, one thing you have to keep in mind about a design like this though is the total weight of your laptop and whatever you're placing on this small region will still be supported ultimately by your lap. So if you have something that's a little too heavy, well it still might not be as comfortable as a real desk or maybe with legs that supports its own weight as is. But that would obviously make it a more bulky design, larger to carry around as a result. But for general shorter bursts of work, it mostly still fares all right, plus you can further elevate the angle with a pillow of your choice if desired. So in general, it's still a pretty clever design, I would say, and works quite decently. Again, it's within the same realm as the Moft, which is using these thin fabric and magnetic systems, really, as you're on the road and trying to get some more work done. And overall, I think it's definitely an interesting alternative to consider. And just before we go, I will also mention that these folks do also make relatively minimalistic styled wallets, or there's another little module that you can attach yourself to store up to two house keys or mail keys at the same time. Plus on the bottom section, they actually give you an included little caliber tool if you're trying to open things like beer, if you're camping or on the outdoors. What's also clever about this design is you can remove it from the wallet and use 3M tape to stick it onto the back of your phone and now use it as like a mini kickstand. If the doors of the kind of key compartments are open, you can stand it upright in both portrait and the horizontal orientation. So a very clever two-in-one design, again, using magnets. That seems to be the reoccurring theme. Again, the pocket there you can also use to store any coins and they will not really drop out. If all you want to carry is this piece, you can remove the actual wallet part and then via a simple rubber band still carry a little bit of cash inside. So I love the fact that all elements of the design have tons of small details going on. Again, making it a pretty clever solution, again, for travelers that want something that can be a multifunction product all in one. And again, though not the main focus of this video, just wanted to give it a brief shout out as well. So that's been a closer look at some interesting products there from PunCube designed to improve your workflow and productivity when on the road. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.